hi so okay today's video we are going to just chill gonna have a nice fun time i just kind of woke up well obviously i didn't want a couple of clothes but jordan and i are going to brunch with our friends and then i think we're gonna kind of chill for the day and hang out and stuff like that so wherever the world takes us today that's where we're going but i just wanted to kind of pick up the camera and talk to you guys for a hot second because i've been thinking I think too hard about my videos and this is so random but okay Ow. so here's the thing I had this whole entire conversation with Jordan last night about how I almost feel like I'm thinking too much about my videos and like do you guys really know me do you really know who I am like I can't really quite explain it but it's this weird feeling of like I just hope they know me. I just hope they like me. I, But it just kind of dawned upon me that sometimes I think a little too much into my videos. I'm like, okay, what's, what will they like? What will they want to watch? And that's amazing and that's so good, but I'm overthinking it sometimes a little bit. And instead of just being normal and being myself and showing you guys how random and actually strange that I am and I'm not saying that to be like quirky but seriously I'm a very odd little peanut and <laughs> I just want to capture more of my day-to-day -day because everyone I watch I really watch them for their day-to-day -day because I think that they're an interesting personality and I think that they are a fun catch and I would be friends with them if possible because they act like me and they act like my friends so I just hope that I get that across if I'm not getting that across I'm sorry and I'm working on it but I think I've just been overthinking some things lately especially still kind of adjusting back to being home it's weird because okay let's sit you down it's a weird situation because obviously you guys know I was in Florida for let's say two months right and when you're in a different place and you get used to a different place and you're kind of in this fantasy world of feeling free and being like yourself and then you come back home to reality you kind of get punched in the face so for instance when i went abroad to london i a few years ago i worked in london i woke up every day and i worked and i woke up some days and i went to school and then i woke up some days and i was in paris and that was the most amazing experience for me. I made so many new friends, I hung out with so many people, and then all of a sudden I came back home. And I was so depressed. So I really had this sense of sadness when I came back home. And I was excited to see my family and I was excited to see my dog. But at the end of the day, I wasn't waking up in a flat in the middle of London. That was a few blocks away from Abbey Road. like having coffee shops across the corner for me, being with my friends, riding the train, going to work, feeling like a full-blown adult, and then coming back home and being like, wow. Oh. So I guess I'm kind of experiencing that sort of thing in my head right now, and that's why I've been overthinking a little bit. I'm like, what is the purpose? What is my life? What is this? But I think I just need to kind of jump right into it and get the ball rolling on day-to-day -day stuff in my normal life, because that's the only thing that's gonna snap me back into and that's it so i'm just gonna finish up getting ready and we'll see you at brunch i like to eat jelly
this like this section Jordan how freaking cute could you imagine me sitting here like filming a cute little video stop hi yeah this kind of looks like my room oh so I want it oh it's my favorite chair in my apartment yes that's how I gain weight how <laughs> you gain weight <laughs> just feed me in this chair I'm not moving from it this is beauty. Oh, I just like me just casually walking past the toilet. This is only my second time being to an IKEA, and the first time I came to IKEA, it was so crowded. I literally wanted to kill myself, but this time it's not crowded at all. So I'm so excited. I'm actually able to take it in and explore. Right, Jordan? Right, Jordan. Last time we came here, I was so anxious because there was so many people. I started breathing really heavy, getting really sweaty. I think you said you need the bathroom. And then Bing, <laughs> Bing who I'm here with, the donuts on the parking lot, you scream at the top rooms, you got stuck in traffic, which then your stomach started to hurt even more. And then... <laughs> Me and all my problems. <laughs> Go to sleep. Oh, he's such a piggy. I'm a big girl. You're a big girl, all right. <laughs> Can you dress okay. me? Do you like I have red? a mint in my mouth. Um, Let me give you still? red. Oh, it's orange. Take my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to sleep now. Don't be so loud. Scary. <laughs> Yeah, the last time we came to Ikea, it was so crowded and I had such a panic attack and I couldn't, I literally couldn't be in here, but now it is so dead. So I'm so excited to explore around here and actually see the stuff. <gasps> so excited. Jordan always escapes me. Oh, this is so cute. This reminds me of like a cute little girly office meeting situation. And here's Jordan. I really like these tables. Me too. Like They're like the artsy you ones. Because it's a lot leveled. I don't know what's because it's, it's to paint and to draw yeah, and to write. It's really nice. Well, it's like if you're an architect, you know. You it's know. lovely, yeah. You're making me nervous. <laughs> Jordan and Bing's home cooked meals. What are we cooking? We're making clams with pasta. We're making soup with the clam sago with an Asian fusion. <laughs> no, I'm making a Jewish way. There's, there's... Make so it What are you doing with this Chinese basil? This is not Chinese basil. This is, uh... I don't know the name, so I'm Chinese. Well, thank you for joining, Jordan and Pink's cooking show. So by any means, we're not hungry at all, but... <laughs> but Jordan... No, but Bing wants to try the meatballs, and I think I want to try the cake. Swedish meatball. I love meatball. Look at my belly go down. <laughs> You know So tired. We're so tired. Okay, so we got home like two hours ago, and I've just been laying in bed in some jammies for a while. And Jordan insisted on putting together the things that he bought from IKEA as soon as we walked through the door, and now he's reorganizing his entire drawers which and I've closets, done nine times already. which he's done nine times already, and. Which is totally fine. I'm really glad he's being extra productive, but I'm... I can't help him. I'm so tired. We were in Ikea literally for like four hours. Ikea's a trap. I'm sorry. It's a government-issued trap to make people just stay in there idling and feel like zombies when they come out. What's wrong with my head? 
So that is what we're up to now. That's what Jordan's up to now. I'm just sitting here. I helped him before. Oh, I should do an Ikea haul. Let's do an Ikea haul. We spent $28 total. I got this pink mug. Oh, and I wanted two of them because I always have this thing where I love mugs. I love cups. I love kitchen stuff. I'm obsessed with the bowls. I'm obsessed with very, sorry, I'm playing with my hair so much. I'm obsessed with just things that I really want to eat out of. And <laughs> when I get a plain colored mug or a plain colored bowl i feel like it needs a pair so i had two of these in my hand i put two of them in the cart so cute like mwah. and jordan's like why do you need two and i he convinced me not to get the second one and i feel bad because this one's lonely and gonna be upset but i guess it'll be okay i got these cookies some swedish cookies they're kaffir cookies it's memorable moments with laughter and cookies. They're just cookies with raspberry flavored filling. You know, they look like the Milano cookies that look like that with like the little jelly on top. Kind of like jelly ring, but like not gross. So I got these two things and Jordan got batteries, which they look amazing, right? They have a real handle, really good, but they're like cardboard. So they were really cheap, but they look really good because his whole section over here, sorry, <laughs> baby alert. He got this and this. He was originally just going to get this one, but I was like, oh, you should really just get a second one so you can make your drawer a little neater because he had a bunch of, so many socks here that were overflowing. So now he has a little more neat of a section. Um, yeah, this is going to probably, I'm not going to show you really them because I'm actually making another video eventually. It takes a long time, but I am making another video on redoing Jordan's room. We've kind of been in the process of trying to redo Jordan's room because it's a little plain right now ever since he got back from school in May and then we went straight to Florida. But yeah, that's just more of an Ikea haul and eventually... I will be uploading a video where we turn Jordan's room into something better. You know, it's a step-by-step -step process. Oh, my legs hurt so much. No, 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 no. Oh. Almost called 911. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, my camera broke. He needs CPR. 